Afternoon from Cincinnati, the Reds took on the Pittsburgh Pirates and lost to them by a score of 6-3. As the Pirates swept the four-game series in the top of the first inning and out of play. Bob Benigni with the ground ball to first. Hamar stepped on the bag, then take down Andy Van Slyke for the three unassisted double play. In the top of the third, Andy Van Slyke got his revenge as he singled down the right field line. The ball was just fair. Doug Drabeck and Wally Backman scored, and the Pirates led 2-0 in the top of the third inning. For Van Slyke, it was RBIs 53 and 54 this season. Meanwhile, Doug Drabeck pitched a fine game. He allowed just one run over six and two-thirds. He walked two and struck out five, including... Eric Davis in the bottom of the fourth inning for the fourth of his five strikeouts. The very next batter in the game was Hal Morris. Morris hit a foul ball that went near the Cincinnati Reds dugout, and the ball was retrieved by Jose Rijo, and he flipped it to Herm Winningham, who juggled it and threw it into the crowd. In the bottom of the fifth inning, Reds got on the board. When Ty Benzker doubled down the right field line, Chris Sable originally stopped the third base, but by Benia's throw to the infield got past Sid Bream. Sable scored, then Mike LaValle picked up the ball and fired to third base, and now Todd Benzinger trying to go to third base on the play. The play went 9-3-2-5. In the top of the sixth inning, though, Pirates got three runs with one swing and a bat by Benia with the three-run homer to right field. His 28th of the season, RBI's 81, 82, and 83, as Wally Backman and Raphael Belliard scored a home run, and the Pirates led 5-1. Then the top of the eighth inning, they increased the lead to 6-1 when Jeff King came up and belted a solo home run to left field. It was a pinch hit home run, his eighth home run in the season, and it's 33rd RBI, and the Pirates led 6-1. Then in the bottom of the ninth inning, a two run home by Jeff Reed cut the lead to 6-3. Then a funny play, Jeff King chasing a foul ball, need teammate Don Slott in the back, and Slott didn't know he was coming. The Pirates won 6-3 as they swept the full game series from the Reds in Cincinnati. Doug Draper got the win, he's 16-5. Jack Armstrong got the loss, he's 12-9. Stan Blund picked up his seventh save. Good afternoon in Detroit. The Tigers game with the Cleveland Indians has been rained out, and at this time there's been no make-up date announced. Fans, fans these days is on Sunday the Toronto Blue Jays completed a three-game sweep with a 9-1 win over the Minnesota Twins. David Wells got the victory in this one to run his record to 9-3. Here in the bottom of the first, he struck out the side as he strikes out Kirby Puckett there to end it top of the second inning. One on and none out. Great play coming up here by Twins third baseman Al Newman as Pat Borders hits this shot down the line. But Al Newman with the backhand stab and turns the 5-4-3 double play. And here's one more look as Al Newman backhands the ball, fires over to Nelson Liriano, who throws down to Gene Larkin for the out. That was the first and second out of the inning. In the bottom of the sixth, Minnesota takes a 1-0 lead. One out and one on. Kirby Puckett lines this single off of Wells into right center field. That scores Dan Gladden, RBI number 69 for Puckett, and the Twins led it one to nothing. But in the top of the seventh, Toronto erupts for six runs thanks to three Twins errors with two on and one out. Mark Guthrie, the pitcher, Luis Soho bunts it. Guthrie throws wild to Gene Larkin. The ball gets by everybody. Glenn Allen Hill and Manny Lee score on the two base error by Guthrie. And the Jays led it two to one. Well, after an infield single by Williams, Mookie Wilson, the batter now, and he'll line this double down the third base line. Past Al Newman, scoring on the play are Soho and Williams. That made it 4-1 to on Wilson's 30th and 31st RBIs of the season. They added two more runs in the inning to make it 6-1. to Then in the top of the eighth, they add three more runs with two on and one out. Jack Savage, the pitcher for the Twins. Mookie Wilson, the batter again, and he'll triple down the first base line. Rance Mullenix and Williams will score. RBIs number 32 and 33 for Wilson. That made it 8-1. to Tony Fernandez added a ground out to make it 9-1. to So Mookie Wilson with four RBIs in the game. Toronto wins it 9-1 to over the Twins. The Jays sweep the three-game series. Wells gets the win. He's 9-3. And, and Mark Guthrie takes the loss. He's 4-6. and six. McGee and the St. Louis Cardinals are hosting the Houston Astros. Bottom of the first. The Cardinals get three runs. McGee with the high chopper up the middle. He beats the throw from Casey Candell. Scoring on the play is Vince Coleman. RBI number 61 for McGee. And it's 1-0 Cardinals. Next batter up is Denny Walling. He's a little tired. Of course, he was a pinch hitter yesterday. And Joe Torrey, the manager, looking on. And he would see Denny Walling, the next batter up after Willie McGee, hit this two-run homer off of Mike Scott. It's his first home run of the season. That one coming against his former teammates. Of course, Denny Walling, a longtime Houston Astro. He takes Mike Scott deep there for 16th and 17th RBIs of the season as Willie McGee was aboard. And it's 3-0 St. Louis. 
in the top of the fourth. Houston scores a pair of runs with two outs. Jose De Leon, the pitcher for St. Louis. Glenn Wilson with the double just past Terry Pendleton's glove in the left field. That scores Bill Dorn. That makes it 4-1. to one. Ken Obrick fell later, added an RBI single to make it 4-2. Jose De Leon broke a personal seven-game losing streak as he had not won since June 17th. He allowed eight hits and three runs while striking out seven over six innings to improve his record to 7-12. Here in the fifth inning, he gets out of a jam by striking out Franklin Stubbs with the bases loaded. So, Jose De Leon gets the win in this one. And Tim Jones hit his first major league home run. He knocked in two runs. Earlier in the game, he had made it 6-2 to two with an RBI single. Then in the eighth inning, Jones caps off the scoring with his first major league homer as he tees off on this Brian Fisher fastball and sends it deep into the tunnel at Bush Stadium. So, Tim Jones gets his first major league home run. And Denny Walling gets his first since August 18, 1989. And there's Tim Jones and Denny Walling hugging the final 7-3 as the Cardinals beat the Astros on Sunday afternoon. And from Wrigley Field on Sunday afternoon as the Braves played the Cubs. 1-0 Atlanta, bottom of the first. Mark Grace with the hot smash back to the mound. It goes off of Steve Avery's glove. Grace beats the throw to first base. Doug Desenzo scores RBI 54 for Grace. And we're knotted up at one apiece. Same inning, Jim Presley with a reaching stop on Chawan Dunstan's hard ground ball down the third base line. Sets and fires to first base to end the inning. Two on and nobody out in the top of the second inning. Dunstan will field Andres Thomas's ground ball, but he makes the errant throw to second base. The ball rolls towards the right field line. Presley comes in to score 2-1 Atlanta. Don Zimmer's Cubs trail 3-1 after an inning and a half. Mark Grace would strike again, this time in the bottom of the third inning. A double to the left center field gap. Doug Desenzo was aboard, and he comes around to score RBI 55 for Grace, his second of the game, and it's 3-2 Atlanta. But Avery would then strike out six of the next eight Cubs in the bottom of the sixth. He strikes out Luis Salazar with Grace off a of second base. A career-high seven strikeouts for Avery through six innings. Second and third, one out in the bottom of the seventh inning for Chicago. Jeff Treadway, second baseman for the Atlanta Braves, will go a long way after this Doug Desenzo foul ball. Makes the diving grab. Dave Clark tags and scores, and this game is knotted up at threes. Top of the eighth inning, Tommy Gregg will get a base hit to left field that scores Treadway. RBI 20 for Gregg, and Atlanta takes the lead now, 4-3. to three. Move now to the bottom of the eighth inning. Pinch hitter Hector Villanueva will hit a two-run homer to left field off of Kent Merker. Home run number seven for Villanueva, RBI 17 and 18, and the Cubs come back and lead this game 5-4. Top of the ninth inning, Paul Ossemacher gets Francisco Cabriera to end the ball game. 5-4, Chicago wins in comeback fashion. Greg Maddox the winner, Merker the loser, and Ossemacher picks up his fifth save. Sunday, Milwaukee, it's George Brett and the Royals playing the Brewers. Top of the first inning, Brett will hit a solo homer to right field off of Mark Knudsen. It's his 10th home run of the year, RBI number 63 for Brett, and the Royals lead this one a one to nothing. Bottom of the second inning, Jim Gantner will tie this thing up with a base hit to center field. Daryl Hamilton comes in to score RBI 18 for Gantner, and the ball game is knotted at one apiece. Stands in Milwaukee had the polka going. I don't want her. You can have her. You know how it goes. Bottom of the third inning, man on second, two outs. Dave Parker will double to the right center field gap. Paul Molitor will come around to score for the Brewers. For Parker, it's RBI number 71. And the Brewers lead this game by a score of 2-1 to one after three innings of play. The injured Bo Jackson made the trip to Milwaukee with the Royals. He's still nursing that sore shoulder. Milwaukee scores four in the bottom of the fourth. B.J. Serhoff with the big hit. He gets a base hit to right field. Mike Felder and Bill Spires come in to score for the Brewers. RBIs 37 and 38 for Serhoff. 5-1 to one Milwaukee, 6-1 to one through four. Mark Knudsen was the beneficiary of all those runs by the Brewers. He gets Jim Eisenreich on some high heat in the top half of the fifth inning. Top of the sixth inning, George Brett will get another RBI as he drives in Bill Bacota with a base hit to left field. RBI 64 for Brett in at 6-2 Milwaukee through seven and a half innings. 7-2 in the top of the ninth inning, Mark Knudsen goes the distance, strikes out Danny Tartable to end the ball game. The Brewers win this game 7-2. Knutson ups his record to 9-6, while Andy McGaffigan drops to 3-1. In the afternoon from Yankee Stadium, Stump Merrill celebrated his new two-year contract extension. 
as the Yankees took on the Seattle Mariners. In the top of the second inning, nice play by Alvaro Espinosa as he shows some fine range on Henry Kyle's ground ball to short. Got the force play, 6-4 in the bottom of the second. Bad play by Greg Brawley out in right field on Jim Larich's line drive to the right field. And Larich ended up with a three-base hit on the bad play by Greg Brawley. Tough day for Greg Brawley. In the top of the third inning, Brawley came up against Yankee starter Tim Leary. And he hit a line drive right back at him. And Leary snagged it for the one unassisted put out. Not to be outdone, a bottom of the fourth inning. Seattle Mariners starter Matt Young robbed Oscar Zokar of a base hit as he stayed with Zokar's hard line drive back at him and threw him out. 1-3, to three. nice play by Matt Young of the Seattle Mariners. In the bottom of the fifth inning, the Yankees are already leading 1-0 on the ground that earlier in the game. And they increased it to 3-0 as Bob Guerin cut it for a 2 run homer to left center field to Yankee Stadium's Death Valley. It was Guerin's eighth home run. And the Yankees led 3-0 as Rick Cerrone scored on the home run. And as you can see, it was raining real hard at Yankee Stadium. And there was a 21-minute rain delay during the sixth inning. In the seventh inning, when the game resumed, crazy play. Scott Bradley with the double to left field gap over Roberto Kelly's head. Alvin Davis scored. But Mike Brownlee, who's right behind Davis, was tagged at home plate. Real bang-bang play at home plate. RBA 27 for Bradley, and the Yankee lead was cut to 3-1. And that was the final. Tim Larry picked up his third win this season against Seattle. In the top of ninth inning, Dave Rigetti struck out. Henry Cotter on a check swing to end the game. The Yankees scored the three-game series from Seattle. Leary 7-15, Young is 6-13, Rickey is 26 save.